Hello and welcome. My name is Melody from Melody Crochet. Thank you for stopping in and we are going to have some fun today. Somebody mentioned that it is Vlogtober, which I'm like, oh crud, it's Vlogtober. It is the 11th right now. It will be posted the same day, so it's the 11th for you too, unless you're watching in the future, in which case, how is the future? Is that cool? Please like, please subscribe. It will increase the growth of the algorithm of my channel and make this much more worthwhile for posting every single day so we can all share this with each other. I am going to start off with what I wanted to do for a couple minutes and oh, I'm intimidated. It's gonna be funny. I have not gone through this, but we're gonna go through the whip pile. Oh my God. Um, first off, what I'm making right now, when I decided to do this, I'm using the coffee beans yarn that I got this week, or gosh, a couple weeks ago, when I was in the yarn crawl, and oh my gosh, <laughs> it's massive. I'm making some fingerless gloves for my son, so it's men's extra large, and fortunately, he'll be coming by tonight for dinner, and I can measure and see where I should start his thumb. I'm not using a pattern. Um, I know I like... A ridge like that and I am writing everything down as I do it so I'll be sharing with you guys and I'll figure out how to downsize it and get a large the husband's large my son's extra large my hand is about the size of a men's medium so between all of us we're pretty good <laughs> but that aside welcome to vlogtober it is very good to have you and if this is the first time we've met, I am Melody from Melody Crochet. I have a blog and I vlog my entire yarn obsessed life. We're gonna be having a lot of fun this month, Halloween being my favorite season. So, questions? I will totally be doing a frequently asked questions video. Post them over on Instagram, post them down below in the comments. I'll jot them down, we'll make that just one video. Knock yourselves out, I'm looking for questions. I feel like an open book, so it makes questions really, really difficult. Um, the room, oh, we are in the office. This is where I keep the yarn. Uh. <laughs> and I go through it very quickly. People are like, what do you do with so much yarn? I use it a lot. I go through it very fast. <laughs> and I keep hardly anything that I make. Everything else is gifted. So much of my makes are Christmas makes that get given away and so many things are called by other people and just presents. I just see things in patterns and make patterns and then I give them away. People say, oh, I like that. And I'm like, here you go. Oh, I'm sitting on one of my blankets. Oh, that looked very planned, but it's not, it's always here. But this is my sock yarn blanket, Cherry Heart put out the pattern. It looks really simple, but I didn't think of it myself, so I have to give her full credit. It took me quite a while just to get this much sock yarn. And each one has a story. A few of them I dyed myself. Let's see, where's some that I dyed myself? This was my Christmas yarn not too long ago. It was called Griswold Christmas. And where's my other one? Oh wait, here's the other one. This was, I called it chocolate um, Christmas cake on Etsy to keep it pleasant, but it was actually Krumpus. <laughs> that was the theory when I made it. And then I'm like, oh, I wanna keep it kind of cheery. So I changed it up and called it Christmas cakes. And I dyed a couple in here, but they're all very special. This is my first knitted socks were out of this alpaca yarn. They turned out terribly. Don't make 100% alpaca socks. They don't hold their memory very well. It doesn't work out. But what we're gonna do today, now that I'm seven minutes in, I hope I still have you here, <laughs> is go through the whip pile. And the eyes are covered. Oh man. I don't think there's a ton in there. I think there's more bags than anything. It's a tub, but it's in here. So here we have, okay, this looks like it's just a basket of bags. So it is. This is a soft bag that I sewed forever ago. This I got at Hobby Lobby. I love it very much. I'm always into the black and white gingham. Now the first whip is definitely going to be finished. That is what we're deciding, if it's going to keep on being a whip. This one will definitely be finished. This is for my son, the older one. And he 
has rarely asked for anything. So when he does, I go ahead and make it. And this is a blanket by Stephen West and it's knitted with these massive, I love that noise, <laughs> with these massive needles and you hold two strands of Aran weight or worsted weight yarn together. In my case, Aran weight. This is, I love this yarn. And I'm just going to hold the red throughout and go through different shades of gray. So I will be fading this. Right now it's a lightish gray and I'll be going into a darker gray, black, white, and we'll hold the red throughout. It won't be very, very big. Probably about six feet long and it will stretch open so it doesn't look like I've done much. I'm a very slow knitter, but it's the only blanket he's ever said, ooh, without any prodding whatsoever. So I got to work on it about a year ago and I'm going to try and finish it by Christmas. <laughs> I'm using my Dallas mug here. I just got coffee on my desk. This is from issue 84 of Simply Crochet, I believe. And all I've done is the big boring blank part. Now I need to do the stripes above, the stripes below. And this is also, I love this yarn, which is why it's in the same basket. This is a massive basket. I get these baskets over at Hobby Lobby. But this is really big. And this is for me, which means there's zero rush. And it's going to be very large in the end. This is two, no, is it two? No, it's one strand of I love this yarn. It called, the pattern called for two strands of DK weight held together, specifically special DK, which I think is even thinner than most DK weight yarn. So that, those two will hopefully get finished. Oh my gosh. Bags by Awesome Granny. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? It's massive. And it came with a little matching bag inside. This is a sweater, a three color sweater. <laughs> I don't even remember what it's called. Oh my gosh, so much yarn. There's two more pink in here already rolled up. I found the sweater. Oh, I just got to the colorway, the color work and I'm not really thrilled with my work so far because I can see this would be my neck and I can already see my stitches looking a little shoddy right there on my increases. I don't know if I want to keep on going. Do I have the pattern in here? No, but I'll look it up in a little bit. And I got some hot pink, as you could see, for that. This would be one ball of hot pink. The rest of the sweater is vastly this color with quite a bit of purple. So, I don't know. It's a lot of yarn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred grams of yarn. Worsted weight. Cascade 220 Heathers, so it's 100% wool. I believe that's not superwash. Peruvian Highland wool, so not superwash. I don't know. What do you guys think? Keep on going. Just see what happens. <laughs> I'm making those on Chow Gu size sixes. What's next? That's a big question mark for me. That could be any sweater. Oh. Oh, um, Crochet A, so that's Sandy. She's talking about the puppy in her picture. Oh my gosh, he's so beautiful. This is my favorite bulky weight yarn from Michaels. It's super cheap. It'll come to me in a second. I love this yarn. Oh, this is here because I'm using the rest of the yarn. I finished the tank top, but I'm using the rest of the yarn to decorate flip flops. And everybody said they would like me to make that into a video. So I have this shirt and the extra yarn here. 
and I need to grab the flip flops. So I'll try and do that before Halloween too. That'd be a great idea for a video. It's super simple though. I'm not a highly decorative flip flop kind of a girl. <laughs> I just like them to match my shirt, especially if I have extra yarn. Like I only have this much yarn, so it will hardly take it. This is, this is feels right here. This is all of my minis in a basket with this is my little scissors and a measuring tape that I like to keep in the basket. This basket has been going for a very long time. This is another biscuit, biscuit, scissor and measuring tape. I keep these little bags of scissors and measuring tape all over so I could just throw them in whatever project bag I start. But I have quite a few from when I finished the blanket that I just shared with you and now it goes into this shawl. I should have the pattern in here. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. The basket of minis. Oh, this is mustache yarns. I have the entire set of Star Wars from her. So each of the colorways is colored with a theme of a character in Star Wars. They're really awesome. Ooh, Daenerys from Madeline Tosh. So I also have two balls of Knit Picks Hawthorne Bear. And I have that here because I am striping white in between each color. So that's my neutral in between the colorways. And this has been my nativity calendar project for two years now. This will be my third year. But being as it sat waiting for me, the needle broke. So right here, like snapped off. I don't say they're bad needles because of it. It's the Knit Picks, Knitter's Pride, the pretty rainbow wooden ones. I mean, I did get two years of use out of it. So it's not like, oh my gosh, useless. And it came in a set. So I have already replaced the size. I just need to put them on here. But yeah, that scared me so much. I'm really not great at picking up stitches and fixing dropped stitches. So I thought it might've been a goner, but it's not. That's my little Christmas stocking stitch keeper right there where I marked the middle. It's a really easy pattern. I probably have it in here somewhere. Oh my goodness. Edison. <laughs> it's not picking up how bright this is, but this is Madeline Tosh in Edison and it's just day glow. Before all the fluorescence came back and everybody started having fluorescence, I grabbed that when it start, when they took it out of rotation. I have some really pretty colorways in here. If you guys have any other projects that you do with minis, let me know, because I'm prepared. I also have two magic balls from bits that were too small to add. Okay, so that will definitely be carried on. That's gonna be a Christmas project. We're digging, we're getting through. This is actually my Halloween bag. Somebody quilted it for me. Is it amazing? It says vampire. It's a little discolored, but I kind of like it. It adds to it. It looks very old fashioned. And it's amazing. I got it in a swap years ago, but I always carry it with my project when I'm on the go this time of year. Maybe I could carry the blanket in that. It would make it a little bit more portable. We'll see. Ooh. I copied someone because it's amazing. This is Red Heart Stripes in Neon. I think it's just called Neon Stripes and it does this all by itself. I had to do a little bit of color planning around the handle right here to make some shorter rows. But aside from that, it just came out just like that. Amazing. But again, I think I might have more project bags in my whips than not. Uh-oh. I might have more of these in there, we'll see. But this is, I love this yarn, made into different squares from the 200 squares book by Jan Eaton. Love Jan Eaton. Oh my goodness. If I see a book by her, it's already purchased. I love it. And I just make them when I have some extra yarn. 
and then someday it will be a blanket. So this stays, but it stays in the whip pile until then. <laughs> oh, I was gonna make this forever ago. This is, this is a practice mock-up. This is Red Heart, Higa, Huga, Hug, yeah. And sometimes I know how to spell it after I Google it. This is the swatch on a J hook. And this is what I was making. It is a very plain cowl and it's so soft. I love this stuff. And then the hood will meet it at the front and go all the way around. So it's a hooded cowl, but it's a big hood because a lot of them have the little hood and it kind of sags up front. I don't like that. I want it closed. So I'm making myself a little super comfy cowl. It's pretty much done. I'd say 95%. I just have to decide how I want to close the back. I don't like it when it looks too pointy and elvish. So I'm probably going to make a round circle and kind of fit it in there like an insert. And that's what I'm doing with this little mock-up, trying different ways of handling that pointy area in back. If it's gonna be pointy, I wanna make it extra pointy. If it's gonna be round, then it should be round. I don't like it when it's just, boom, a rectangle. That's unappealing to my eye. What kind of hook am I making? Is that in here? Yeah. That is on an L hook, so an eight millimeter, on my Clover Amour, which I love very much, and a little pumpkin keeper. Okay. Yep, this yarn name still has not come to me, but we're gonna see several of them. I am making a market bag out of comfy cotton. Anybody else? I guess I should finish it. I have that much though. I wanted to use the whole thing. I'm using a J hook and just kind of winging it. I'll probably do about 10 more inches of mesh and then do a nice handle just long enough to go over my shoulder. That way it can hold lots of stuff. It doesn't have a tuck with it though. That bugs me. Oh, it's a bag. This is an Ikea bag. They sell these there. They have them in light blue and white and black and white. I did a giveaway on the channel with the blue and white one and I kept this one. Oh, this is Izzy sweater. I'm crocheting my younger son a sweater and I haven't even started. <laughs> but this is two cakes of, well, this is a cake, this is a hank, of vintage from Barocco. And that's 52% acrylic, 40% wool, and 8% nylon. It's super strong and soft and washes fabulously and very, very warm still without being just unbreathable. It's a great combination of acrylic and wool and so soft. So I have two of those because I told myself I'm not gonna buy eight of them and find out I only need three. So I bought two of those because they're not gonna run out of that color and I find that the lot of the color doesn't matter as much in a striped sweater and it will be striped. There will be neon stripes. So this cannot not be made. I have to make this. I found a pattern in that magazine I shared yesterday and that might just have to be it. I need to get going. I knitted in this last sweater. This one will be crocheted. He requested it. Fabric that I was going to sew into bags because apparently I'm really lacking on bags. I worry. I worry. This is a t-shirt that I tie dyed. Why is it in my whip pile? Because I want to paint on it. Margarita is my favorite color, but I haven't yet. I need to get my stencils out. I have the stencils. Not sure what I'm missing. Not sure why I haven't done it. I need to get on that, even if I just freehand it, because if it says margarita is my favorite color, do I really need it to look super professional? So, uh-oh, Halloween bag. Oh, I need to finish this. This is a virus shawl that I'm making out of mandala in this beautiful, beautiful colorway. And then the bottom of it, I'm gonna have a, another ball. It's gonna be really big. 
in my mind. I'm doing, since it's DK weight, I'm doing Joy DK. I believe it's Joy DK that they sell over at Michael's, but in black. I just think it'll look really pretty to have all the bright colors and then the bottom at least a few inches of black, depending on how big it gets. But so far it's growing pretty nicely. And I love that green, I'm excited. So I need to get on that. As soon as I finish my um, Clausiana. I don't have a hook in here, that bugs me. Hmm, I cannot grab and go with a project bag if there's no hook in it. <sighs> okay, so I'm definitely finishing that. So far, have we gotten rid of anything? Oh my gosh. This is going to be a coffee cup hook organizer working on it but the yarn this is the target yarn that they sell it smooshes down so much it looks so big and dense but look how many rows i needed to get to the inches i wanted oh my gosh it's going to take forever i wanted to share the patterns with you pattern with you guys but part of me thinks maybe i need to do it in another yarn too to make sure i'm complete not completely lying in case you get another yarn and have it take completely different numbers of rows if that makes sense because if it smooshes down a bunch and then you grab another yarn that doesn't, just because it's the same size, I'm going to be messing with everybody else's hook organizer. That's not who I am. Oh man, this has been in there forever. This is possum yarn, 100% possum. And I want some fingerless gloves out of it. Now this is some kind of humanitarian aid that they convinced me to purchase because I guess that there are more possums in New Zealand than people. That might be a possum. Please forgive me if I'm saying it wrong. But, and then they said the only way to control the population is to do away with them because they'll eat the trees or something terrible. They made it sound awesome. Like I was just the best person in the world for buying possum yarn. <laughs> Not kidding. And I like the colors. I'm not a huge oatmeal fan, but I think together they'd make some really pretty striped or color work gloves. So worsted weight, even though it looks really thin for worsted weight, in my opinion. Worsted weight and fuzzy and they look, I hear it's very, very warm. It's the only possum yarn I've ever purchased. So I need to get this done. Oh my gracious. Have I said, anything but I need to get this done. Bernat blanket, it's all over my house because I'm making all the slippers out of it. So this is just enough to make another pair. So I'll do another pair and put them in the box for Christmas. Hostess gifts, this, that, and the other. This one's called At Home and it is not the same size as Bernat blanket. It's bigger than Bernat blanket and it even calls for a bigger hook, I should have known. So I, so if you do use this because it's sold right by the Bernat blanket and sometimes instead of it in certain Walmarts, crochet tight. That's it. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I can work with that. <sighs> so what do you think guys? What should I just get rid of? What should I do with the big sweater quantity in the Bags by Awesome Granny bag? I'm not sure. I wonder if that's enough to crochet a sweater because that's really pretty. Hmm. What are you guys working on? Any whips? Hope to see you soon. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below along with suggestions for videos this October. If you'd like to see anything reviewed, I would love to hear about that also. And let me know what you're making. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye guys.